When recording gas data with the BME688 development kit, the raw data is being stored on the SD card, which we can directly import into the BME AI Studio. Importing data of one measurement session combines four steps in one. The data is actually copied into our project and onto our hard drive. The data is automatically analysed and corrected for any errors during recording. We can add metadata about the measurement session, and we can slice the data into multiple parts called specimens and give them labels. We start with raw data files of a recording session on the SD card and end up with specimens in our AI Studio project. We can think of these specimens as single snippets from the whole recording, representing a specific gas situation, like, for example, the smell of a particular coffee blend. So, here we have the development kit that we use to record our gas data. Make sure the board is disconnected from the power supply, then remove the SD card and connect it to the computer. We can then open up our project in BME AI Studio, select Import Data, and simply choose the .bme raw data file on the SD card, or any other raw data file you want to import. AI Studio will now show us an overview of the data we are about to import. We can see that the data was recorded with eight sensors, all running with the same configuration. We can give our session a meaningful name, like a topic, specific location, or special occasion. Let's call it Berlin Specialty Coffee. Down below, there is a graph with the recorded data on a timeline. As you can see, the recording is already sliced into specimens. This is because we press the buttons on the development kit board during our recording. Each specimen is also listed below the graph, with a field for label, start and end time. To change the definition of a specimen, we can use the data graph or the list. Simply select one and it will be highlighted in the graph and in the list. We can now label each specimen and adjust their start and end time to cut out any data that we don't want to include. Again, we can do this manually in the list, or adjust the specimen boundaries in the graph. Don't worry, we can always come back to these settings later on. With other data, there might be no specimens defined yet, so we have to create new specimens by selecting Add Specimen. By the way, each line in the graph represents one of the 10 steps within the used heater profile. This means that each line follows the evolution of one measuring point within a heater profile over time. We can switch the view between sensors and between different data channels to see gas data, humidity, temperature, and pressure. Once we're done, we can simply select import data and voila! Here is our measurement session, with our six specimens inside. As mentioned, you can always go back to the session settings and adjust your specimen definitions. We can now go back to recording and capture more data for our project.